Science is lighting one lamp from the other. None of the scientists are gods. Everybody finds it very very different when listens that 2266 years old Archimedes principle, 331 years old Newton's laws and 111 years old Einstein's E is equal to mc square are updated or modified. But it is true that Ajay Sharma's newer versions of the laws have been published in peer review journals and conferences, magazines and books. It leads to scientific authenticity. Ajay Sharma never calls established laws wrong, but on the basis of deep analysis, he points out laws are inadequate or incomplete in some cases. Ajay Sharma, working on the fundamental laws since past 34 years, points out that thousands and hundreds of years ago, the mathematical, experimental and technological status was bare minimum comparatively. Thus, in today's context, scientific precision is maximum as in Large Hadron Collider, Motion to Mars, Internet, Supercomputers, thus the laws need to be updated. Ajay Sharma is author of two books, Beyond Newton and Archimedes and Beyond Einstein and E is equal to MC Square, published from Cambridge, England. He has published 55 papers in peer-reviewed publications and has been invited to nearly 100 international conferences all over the world. Sharma had presented his papers in America, England, Russia, Germany, etc. etc. About Third Law of Motion The third law of motion was given by Newton in the Principia at page number 19 to 20. It states that to every action, there is equal and opposite reaction. According to Newton, action and reaction are equal for all bodies, all times and at all places unconditionally. The main limitation of the law is that it does not take in account the inherent nature and characteristics. That is, for example, composition, flexibility, rigidity, magnitude, distinctiveness of interacting bodies, etc. These affect the results experimentally. For example, a rubber ball and cloth ball both are thrown at the wall with same action. Now, according to Newton's third law, the reaction must be equal. However, the rubber ball rebounds quickly than cloth ball. Thus, action and reaction are not equal, contrary to Newton's law. Thus, Newton's law is updated or generalized. Thus, to every action, there is opposite reaction, but it may or may not be equal depending upon inherent nature and characteristics of body. Sir, what is Newton's third law of motion? What is its origin? Newton gave third law of motion mm -hmm. in the masterpiece The Principia mm -hmm. published in 1687 mm -hmm. at page number 1920. Mm -hmm. It states that to every action there is equal and opposite reaction. Mm -hmm. Mathematically, action is equal to minus or negative of reaction. Negative sign indicates direction. This law is not law of science but used in daily life mm -hmm. as well as in philosophy. This law unconditionally holds good for all bodies, thus action and reaction are equal for all bodies, 
at all times, mm -hmm. at all places, mm -hmm. without any restriction, mm -hmm. that is universally. Newton expressed action and reaction in terms of force and velocity in the Principia. How did Newton establish the law in the Principia? Initially, Newton gave definition of the third law of motion as just stated. Then, after this, Newton gave three examples to illustrate the law, to establish the law in the following way. Example number one, let the finger presses some stone with force, mm -hmm. known as action. Mm -hmm. As reaction, stone also presses the finger. Mm -hmm. And Newton said, both action and reaction are equal. Mm -hmm. Example number two, mm -hmm. given by Newton mm -hmm. to establish third law of motion in the Principia. Mm -hmm. Consider a stone is tied to horse with rope. Mm -hmm. The horse pulls the stone tied to it mm -hmm. in the forward direction. Mm -hmm. That is called action. Mm -hmm. In turn, mm -hmm. the stone mm -hmm. also pulls the horse in the backward direction, mm -hmm. which is reaction. Mm -hmm. Newton said, both action and reaction are equal. Mm -hmm. What? He did not measure in mm -hmm. both cases mm -hmm. what is action, mm -hmm. what is reaction. Mm -hmm. We are accepting since centuries mm -hmm. what Newton have said. Mm -hmm. What these are qualitative or approximate examples mm -hmm. as Newton neither measured action mm -hmm. nor reaction. Mm -hmm. Further, another limitation of third law of motion is mm -hmm. that it is established on the basis of just three qualitative or approximate observations. Mm -hmm. A law is said to be established mm -hmm. when it satisfied all the cases or billions of the cases pertaining to that law. Mm -hmm. Now that uh, part has not been taken in account neither by Newton nor by other scientists. And uh, in my work, I have taken uh, these things minutely in account mm -hmm. and found that we have to move ahead. The point Newton left, we have to move ahead. This is my conclusion. Okay. Um, give a simple example which illustrates the failure of third law of motion. Now I quote a very simple daily mm -hmm. life example which is seen by us numerous times. Mm -hmm. Take a rubber ball mm -hmm. and a cloth ball okay. mm -hmm. and throw mm -hmm. both balls mm -hmm. from same point mm -hmm. at the wall. Mm -hmm. The rubber ball mm -hmm. is thrown at wall. Mm -hmm. It travels distance mm. 5 meter mm. in 5 seconds. Okay. After striking the wall, mm. the rubber ball mm. comes back traveling distance of 5 meters mm. in 5 seconds. Mm. In this case, mm. action mm. and reaction are equal mm. and Newton's law holds good and uh, everything is okay. We have nothing to say. Mm -hmm. What now? See the another example. Second case. Mm -hmm. Another example, maybe second case, mm -hmm. which is seen by numerous times mm -hmm. by various people, but not discussed. Mm -hmm. Further, mm -hmm. the cloth wall is thrown mm -hmm. with some action mm -hmm. on same wall mm -hmm. from same point. Mm -hmm. After striking, mm -hmm. the cloth wall rebounds. Mm -hmm to only distant 2.5 meters in time 5 seconds. Mm -hmm. Thus, this in this case, mm -hmm. reaction is half. Mm -hmm. Hence, action and reaction are mm -hmm. not equal mm -hmm. in this case. Mm -hmm. 
hence it is a clear mm. example of failure of mm. third law of motion mm. in a daily life mm. it can also be illustrated mm. with more sophisticated one dimensional elastic collisions mm. which needs a separate discussion mm. sir what is the main limitation of the law which led to modification or generalization of the third law of motion the biggest limitation of newton's third law of motion is that mm. it does not take in account mm. it does not take in account mm. the inherent nature mm. and characteristics mm. for example mm. composition mm. flexibility mm. rigidity mm. magnitude mm. distinctiveness mm. of the interacting bodies mm. these are important properties mm. regarding understanding of action and reaction law mm. what not taken in account by newton in third law of motion mm. sir the inherent nature and characteristics of body are definitely important properties not taken in account by newton and following scientists explain how the inherent nature and characteristics of different bodies are significant in this regard practically if we could see newton's principia written 1687 Mm-hmm. then in the definition mm-hmm. of third law of motion mm-hmm. newton has written a word body mm-hmm. the body may be of gold mm-hmm. steel mm-hmm. wood mm-hmm. cloth mm-hmm. wool mm-hmm. spring mm-hmm. sponge mm-hmm. etc mm-hmm. newton says that mm-hmm. if action is same mm-hmm. then for all bodies reaction is also same mm-hmm. what it is not true mm-hmm. the action can be same for both the action, action can mm-hmm. be same mm-hmm. for bodies of steel and sponge mm-hmm. what the reaction is not same mm-hmm. so newton statement is contradicted mm-hmm. and a significant factors mm-hmm. have been missed by newton mm. and following scientists mm. in the study okay you have demonstrated an observation that confirms failure of newton's third law of motion how you can explain it it can be easily explained if newton's third law of motion is updated generalized or its definition is extended so what i mean to say mm-hmm. that i am not saying mm-hmm. my research is not saying mm-hmm. that newton's third law of motion mm-hmm. is uh, say completely wrong mm-hmm. what it can be extended mm-hmm. this is the outcome mm-hmm. and the extended form of third law of motion is mm-hmm. to every action there is always opposite reaction what reaction may or may not be always equal to action depending upon the inherent nature and characteristics of the bodies how you will express it in mathematical form the mathematical form can be written on the basis of generalized form of third law of motion and it means action is equal to minus k reaction mm-hmm. where k is additional mm-hmm. coefficient of proportionality mm-hmm. like numerous mm-hmm. existing in physics mm-hmm. the value of k depends upon mm-hmm. nature and inherent mm-hmm. characteristics of body mm-hmm. the value of k has to be determined experimentally mm-hmm. and this is a normal process mm-hmm. done in physics mm-hmm. number of times What is opinion of the scientific community about your work? Is it recognized by international scientific community? Yes, it is recognized. My paper pointing out limitations of second law of motion 
and its generalized form has been published in peer review international journal physics assess this journal is dedicated to fundamental problems in physics this journal is indexed and abstracted i have also published the same in us based science magazine and in book beyond newton and archimedes published from cambridge england so the work is internationally recognized and it can be added to textbooks right from school level hmm. as it fulfills all prerequisite criterion hmm. how government of india is helping you in this regard i met honorable minister of science and technology hmm. dr harsh vardhan and stated facts he gave due attention to my works and words and sent my books to secretary science and technology professor ashutosh sharma now my both books beyond newton and archimedes beyond einstein and e is equal to mc square are under evaluation also honorable prime minister of india shri narendra modi to have written to department of science and technology for evaluation of work finally how do you sum up the newton's third law of motion its limitations and generalization or modification newton's third law of motion is half studied mm. in literature mm. and is half true mm. it implies mm. action equal to reaction mm. is only true mm. under certain conditions mm. this law does not take in account inherent mm. characteristics of mm. interacting bodies thus contradictory results are also obtained in some cases for example when a rubber ball and cloth walls are thrown at the wall with same action then cloth wall rebounds slowly thus action is same what reaction is less thus the law is generalized to every action there is equal and opposite reaction what reaction may or may not be always equal to action mm. thus for bodies of gold steel wood rubber mm. wool mm. and sponge mm. etc mm. for same action mm. the reactions are different mm. as my paper is published in internationally recognized journal mm. and thus it qualifies to be mm. included in the textbooks